In Harrow, North London, 21-year-old Tyler Johnson is getting married in five weeks' time to boyfriend Joshua Juggan. Should be a little bit of stuff. Well, you paid for it all, so... Yeah. You have to love it. I'm marrying Joshua because I think he's the man of my dreams. Tyler and Joshua, this is your wedding uh, ceremony that we are going to go through. Tyler, you see, with this ring. With this ring. I the wed. I the wed. I make a I the wed. <laughs> you know, so all English words. I I what? Sorry. I the wed. I, I the wed. I the red. Wed. 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 Oh wed. I the wed. Because at the beginning, Joshua didn't want to go to church. He like, I'm not going to church. I could do it at home. I read Psalms on the back of my toilet door every day, and stuff like that. All is going to be well, and I'll make sure. I was <laughs> <laughs> good in the hood, man. Joshua are born again Christians and they're planning a traditional church wedding. We always thought it was a possibility that we could get married and I personally didn't think it was going to be as soon. I'm going to live my life with the woman that I want to spend the rest of it with so why would I wait for that? Our faith has been a very very big um, influence on our lives, it sets the boundaries for us. It's really about setting an example for the next generation. Joshua got baptised for his bride-to-be, and that's meant one particular sacrifice to make. For me personally, as a newborn Christian, I know fornication is wrong before marriage. I'm proud of Joshua in what he's done. I'm not going to lie to you, it's hard, isn't it? Personally, it's proper, proper hard. What's hard? You know when you're in the desert and you have a mirage and you see water and you're just like, rah, I'm so thirsty right now. <laughs> the bride and groom will be hosting a reception for 160 family and friends, and they're doing all the decoration of the venue themselves. Where's all the other tables? Uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I think they're sorting. Um, you have a couple more tables. I've planned this wedding, and both of us have put our ideas into it. It's, it's like it's been. She's done more. Don't look at me like that. OK, I've planned this whole wedding um, alone. OK. That, I don't think that goes over there. Look at Tyler's What? Um, <laughs> no, yeah. just for the cupcake thing that go over there. So where are the cupcakes the going? Cake not on the table? The wedding cake, right? Yeah. That but you're not going to have the cupcakes yeah. on the table, no? Mm -mm. No, sweet table is this. This is the sweet table. No, Joshua, it can't go there. You know why? Because all the big um, stands are going on that table. I'm very particular of where I want things and how I want things. It should go to plan and it should be what I want it to be, and if everything's in order, and then afterwards everybody just relaxes, then that's fine. Look at me. Stop stressing yourself. Hey, what? We get everything here, innit? And then we saw what, what, what. Where's this going? Um, sign table. Right, cool. Where's the sign table? Outside. Outside. Oh my God! Okay. <laughs> It's the day of Tyler and Joshua's wedding shower, held at Tyler's family home. Basically, really like a barbecue big thing, and then we just play a little bit of wedding shower games. My name is Andre Myers. I am a friend of Tyler and Joshua, and I'm very happy that they're about to be together. I'm a juggern to be, so I'm not a Johnson anymore. But although I did want to keep TJ, so, so I'm, I'm going from a Tyler Johnson to a Tyler juggern, so happy about that. It's all smiles now for Tyler and Joshua's family, but that wasn't always the case. When Joshua told me he was going to get married, I was a little bit shocked, because obviously he's still quite young. My name is Denise, and I'm Joshua's mother. I'd made sure over the last few months to, um, to talk to him about how serious it is and that it's a great responsibility. So now I'm just excited for him and excited for Tyler that they're, they're embarking on a new chapter of their life. My name is Tyler Carrington Johnson. <laughs> My <laughs> name is Helena. <laughs> 
when Tyler's father um, first heard uh, that she was going to get married, we were all there, and I think my face was a bit of a picture. I was like, okay. And then he said, but that's who she is. And he said, you know, what do you think of um, Joshua? And, you know, he said what he thought about him, and I said what I thought about him, and I said, well, you know what, that's her choice. We have to live with her choice. You chose on what I or what your father has put into you, and that's what you come back with. My name's Charles. No! I'm the father of the bride to be. I'm very proud of him, of her. <laughs> I'm very proud of them. <laughs> I'm very proud of them. And um, today is their wedding. Today is their. <laughs> Well, I'm nervous for Joshua, the, <laughs> the groom, because he's got a lot on his plate. And he's got to look after my daughter and himself for the rest of their lives together. In preparation for getting married, Tyler and Joshua have also done something more often associated with breaking up. When they first said that they were going to get um, married, I thought it was important for them to have marriage counselling by... Uh, pastor or vicar or you know, someone who actually knew us as people. So we started going to marriage counselling and we started literally learning things that we would do with each other. I've learned that when you use communication in a relationship, it's huge. Okay, so this game is the best wedding dress with the toilet paper. So you all oh have God. two oh pieces of toilet paper. Hey, hey, hey. Now you have a oh, quintal oh, half pass. Oh, 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 oh. Is there two models or just one? <laughs> so, Cairo, whose dress is the best? So <laughs> I know, that was a threat. Tyler, the winner. <laughs> 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 having a really good time. Uh, everyone's just happy meeting new family and getting along very, very well. It's weird because a lot of his family, a lot of my family knew each other when they were younger, but kind of grew apart. And now it's just like, everyone's like, oh, oh yeah, you yeah. do, 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 do. So I think it's nice for me and Joshua to kind of bring back the union. Once they're married, Tyler and Joshua will also be taking another big step. For the first time, they'll live together. No, I mean, Josh, I haven't lived together before. So, oh God, everybody tells me men are dirty. <laughs> oh man. The toilet seat's gonna be up all the time, I can just guarantee. <laughs> I don't think living together will change our relationship. I think we'll just get closer. You shouldn't have screamed, someone. It's scary. I'm not that scary, my face ain't that scary. Yeah, but what you used to do that? That's a freaky man. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> In North London, Tyler's big day is drawing near. Less than 12 hours till the wedding. <laughs> Tyler has overseen every detail of the wedding herself, but she will have to hand over control of proceedings tomorrow. I'm afraid about certain people just not knowing what they're supposed to do, what order they're supposed to be in. Um, anything can happen, really. It stresses me out, like, when people don't know what they're doing and you just told them, like, last Tuesday. Or you just told them, like, two days ago what they're supposed to be doing and suddenly they're like, oh, God, you didn't tell me. Well, I blatantly did. While Tyler's been out doing last-minute errands, Joshua has been trying to get everything needed for the reception ferried to the venue. <laughs> Well, I'm a bit rushed right now, so it's a bit hard to tell you how I'm feeling, but just, just want to get over and done with and get tomorrow started. Joshua stresses about his own worries. Joshua doesn't actually stress about anything important. The whole preparation is just wonderful. Getting everything done, all this running up and down, it's exhausting, but it's exciting at the same time, do you understand? So, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it. Just building up the energy right now. But the bride-to-be is running out of steam. I wish there was somebody else that everybody could call instead of me, so I can just go to my bed. And the longer she's been gone and out of reach, the more her fiancé's energy has waned. Just his legs. I don't even care. He needs to go and get a life. 
Tired of being the wedding organiser rather than the pampered bride, Tyler retires upstairs. So why are you laying in your bed for? Because I'm tired. So everybody's tired? Okay, cool, but I come in the house and everybody's having an attitude towards me. You're not Where were you? Joshua, I was at Sinead's house getting the juicer thing. What for is what? wrong with for you? What? Because we needed it to put the punch in. And who did you let know that? It who did you Joshua, communicate with and Joshua, tell that you were going to? It doesn't matter. You don't call me. You're sitting there on loudspeaker getting mad at me. For what reason, Joshua? It doesn't matter. If you're here, you've not got enough cars to bring everything. Nothing is in my car. Right, this is what I'm saying to you, yeah? <sighs> Whatever, innit, Joshua? I'm not even listening to you. All right, bye. Say it. Wedding's off in No, wedding's off from time ago. Wedding's off from time ago, so shut your mouth. Just take the stuff out of the car, it don't matter no more. Blood, that's your family, blood. You go and chat to her, innit? What's she saying? I don't care. Not my problem anymore, fam. Not my problem, blood. Kyra, huh? go and chat to her. Where is she? She's in her room, but I'm gone, innit? I'm out. I don't even see the point of you lot going down there anyway, because there's no wedding. So if I was you, like, I'd just step back in the house. Turn the camera off! The pressure of getting hitched is all new for the young couple, but for Tyler's aunt and father, they've seen it all before. Um, no, I just, I just personally just think it's just the day for a wedding. We all, I mean, I've personally been there. Everyone's been there, like the bride. It's just, you tend to bride a lot. <laughs> Joshua decides to take control of the situation and goes upstairs to comfort his exhausted bride to be in private. Would you like me to bring it, put it in my car when I'm leaving? No, 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 it's, no, it's all right. No, no, no. Is it literally a travelling thing? It's literally, yeah. But would it need not? Well, you're gonna need it on the way back tomorrow when we bring the stuff back. I don't think so. No, no. Yeah. No, yeah? No, okay. no, it's too much to break. <laughs> she just flipped out a little bit. Joshua was a great support to her upstairs. And, you know, Tyler and Joshua, they just both need a good night's rest. So I'm just going to leave them to rest. It's D-Day for Tyler and Joshua. Despite telling her fiancé yesterday the wedding was off, she's up bright and early and preparing to get married. <sighs> Too many people keep calling me. Nobody's supposed to be calling me. Everybody's just... Being annoying. I like my hair. Mummy, look at my hair. Wow, that's nice, isn't it? She's done really well. I'd have chopped it off. <laughs> <laughs> this is my dress. And it's got like loads of lovely like roses on the inside. It's like glittery stuff and it's like fitted and it goes like it's so nice I love it so much I don't know how much this dress costs and my mum won't tell me I'll get it out of her one day <laughs> at least the prospect of getting dolled up in her bridal finery mm. is lifting Tyler's mood you don't want your eyebrows done do you <laughs> yeah I do and she's not letting a hiccup or two rattle her uh, makeup wise that we booked um, her flight got cancelled my sister's doing my makeup instead, and she did all the bridesmaids and everything, and they actually look really, really nice. They actually look really pretty. After the church bit, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, so do I. Everything I think that as well. Unravel and just come together. Yeah. I mean, you won't even care afterwards. You'll just be like, oh, well. <laughs> you see, not breathing right now, not breathing, not breathing. Oh my god! Fiance Joshua has been ready to start proceedings for some time. We've been waiting for two hours. Everybody just waiting. Everybody just waiting for her to come. Look up, look up, look but as Tyler arrives, the magnitude of the big day becomes too much. He's as stressed out as you are. He didn't know anything, remember? We knew what was going on. I want to go home. Does anyone want tissue? Anyone want tissue? Doesn't matter. No one has to stay. You, but bring you. The bride. you need to stop. Bring the bride. touching up your makeup again. 
Who cares if she's crying? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You'll hear at the end of the day. You'll hear at the end of the day. Who cares if you're late? Who cares? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're stepping on my dress. She's here now, that's all that matters, isn't it? Everything else is just forget about it, innit? I know. Today, this is the start. Rest of your life. <laughs> a pep talk from her bridesmaids and the comforting arm of her dad soon get the bride back on track. I, Tyler Johnson. Do take you, Joshua Jarwin. Do take you, Joshua Jarwin. As my husband. As my husband. Submitting myself to him. Submitting myself to him. As unto the Lord. As unto the Lord. Showing reverence to him. Showing reverence to him. I call upon these people here present. To witness that I, Joshua Jarwin. To witness that I, Joshua Jarwin. Do take you, Tyler Johnson. Do take you, Tyler Johnson. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Before Almighty God. And in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the power of the Holy Spirit of God, I now pronounce you husband and wife together in the things of God. You are now husband and wife. The would like you to kiss your bride. <laughs> Tyler and Joshua have taken on the mammoth task of organising the wedding themselves. Last night, friends and family finished dressing the reception venue, and Tyler is about to find out if they've met her exacting standards. You guys want to come and see the room? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it looks all right. <laughs> the balloons aren't done. Don't worry. Ty. Don't worry. The helium, that's not helium. <laughs> Hello. Who is this? Tyler? Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah? Do you know the song that you're playing when we come in? Which one is that? Which one do you want? He doesn't know what song to play when we come in. He doesn't know what song to play when we come in. Is it, what tune is it? I thought you spoke to him about that. I did, the Good Times tune. I told you about the Good Times tune. Good Times. Yeah, I swear I played it. I played it to you. Who said that? Popcorn. Yeah, that was Popcorn. Popcorn. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Jurgen. I don't see no avenue past the walk. As friends and family rise to greet the newlyweds, Tyler's quest for perfection is put into perspective. Today, people have to explain to me, like, in a wedding, nothing actually goes to plan. Like, nothing. Some things just go wrong, that's just life, and it? Nothing ever goes exactly to plan. You just have to accept it and move on from it, and that's when you can be happy. Yeah, it's true. It was fantastic. Better than I thought it was going to be. They pulled it off. They did an awesome job. Absolutely awesome. I can't believe for their years, 21, 
that they did such a good job. This room is just full of love and people that support our decision as young people. Everybody that came to support us, it means so much. <laughs> You will forever be in our hearts, and through our marriage, you'll mean so much to us. With the party in full swing and the tears and tantrums forgotten, the young couple can start life as Mr. and Mrs. Juggan. All the planning, all the stress, everything, it's all been worth it, hasn't it, Juggan? Yes, Juggan. Love you. Love you too. Run, 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 run! No, run what? I need to fart, bloody. You want me to, you want me to pop? Josh is gonna fart. 